Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the station. How are you today? Blakemore, Sir Douglas. Great estate pipe and a lot of history behind the make of this pipe. Black coffee, of course. And in it, we have my second favorite Codger Drugstore Blend Velvet. So, the history of this pipe, just a little bit. Uh, the Blakemore Pipe Company in England made this pipe uh, for a Royal Air Force fighter pilot in World War II. Uh, so, he could actually smoke this pipe in the plane. Uh, short stem. Uh, I don't think it's as short as the devil ants, but uh, you could do some research on and read about it. Some An interesting background story uh, that I'm not going to get into right now, but uh, cool pipe nevertheless with a great history behind it. So, had some more questions via emails about tongue bite and cadence so i thought we'd talk about that this morning uh cadence remember sip your pipe especially this is in th this video is basically for newbies uh most seasoned pipe smokers pretty much have a cadence and they know what's going on so you just want to sip the pipe okay you don't want to freight train it like that because what's going to happen is your bowl is going to get too hot you could get a burnout in your briar if you don't have enough cake or too little cake or too much cake in the bowl and I did a story about cake a couple months ago. You go back and look for it if you so desire. So you want to get the cadence going as you smoke the pipe. It's not a freight train. It's not a steel mill to smoke. You're not smoking a wood stove. You just want to get a nice sipping uh, cadence going keep your pipe lit to enjoy it so basically you're not heavy puffing and a lot of people who start pipe smoking tend to do that and they quit because they find out that it starts the dreaded tongue bite now tongue bite that's one reason for tongue bite but there there are so many other reasons it's crazy uh, I'd be jumping around, of course, like I always do. To, uh, a wet bowl can cause tongue bite. The steam from the tobacco uh, in the, the wet bowl, your saliva or uh, moisture that comes off from an aromatic tobacco, a wetter type tobacco, will cause tongue bite. You need to use pipe cleaners at least twice through the smoke at least twice through the smoke you need to use pipe cleaners to clean the moisture absorb the moisture out many many aromatics now mind you i didn't say all many many aromatics are goopy they have a lot of uh, additive flavors in them and this will create tongue bite. And many new pipe smokers have quit due to tongue bite. It's not fun. I have not had it since I started pipe smoking when I was about 17. It was a peach flavored drugstore tobacco. Uh, I don't even remember the name. But I do remember it gave me some nasty, nasty tongue bite. I almost quit pipe smoking. Uh, 
fact, I went back to my uh, Cigarellos in Copenhagen for a while, and then I picked the pipe up again. Now, pH levels in your mouth, in the tobacco, I'm a, you know, I'm not a chemist, <laughs> but something with the chemicals in each individual can cause tongue bite where I may not get it on say a maple rum tobacco aromatic you may get it or vice versa your body chemistry reacting to uh, the flavors the ingredients that's added to the aromatics now Burley's Burleys are well known for not causing tongue bite. Uh, plain black Cavendish, which is a stove tobacco, uh, is known for not causing tongue bite. Virginia tobacco uh, tends to burn a little hotter and um, it's usually a culprit for tongue bite. So, Basically, you like I said, you want to use your uh, at least two pipe cleaners for the smoke, okay? Absorb the moisture out of the bowl and in the stem, obviously, which can contribute to tongue bite. If you're smoking a tobacco and you've received tongue bite from it two times, that tobacco is not for you time to move on and find something else because it's the chemical compound in your mouth and the tobacco that just not getting along so one time I I'd, I wouldn't get rid of that particular brand but if, if I got it twice I would not smoke that brand anymore slow your cadence down sip the pipe sip the pipe that will help alleviate the dreaded tongue bite. Uh, what else? Yeah, basically that's it. I can't think of anything right now. I usually take notes. I didn't take notes today on what I wanted to say. And other thing, pouches. Do you do you folks use pouches? Tobacco pouches, leather. I have several. I have several, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I lost count. I keep two in the car, one filled with an over the counter Sir Walter Raleigh regular or velvet, then the other one in the car, whatever. It could be Orla Golden Slice, it could be whatever. Then I have two or three laying around in the house. I'm a pouch user. Some people, some people don't like them. There's countless good brands. This is a fourth generation. Uh, a decent leather pouch maybe goes about 18 bucks. I haven't bought one in a while. Stanwell makes them. Fourth generation makes them. Uh, Savinelli makes them. And there's a few others that it's, it's escaping me now. So uh, I was just curious. Do you use pouches? I love them. I mean, look. There you go. Pipe in there. Lighter, tamper. As you know, I take my pipe everywhere I go, so pouch. You know, I don't want to take a tin with me. I don't like those little, those little tobacco gizmos things. I don't like them. They're just not for me. If you like them, that's excellent. That's excellent. I just don't like them. I'm a pouch guy. I like my pouches. So, I hope the tongue bite tips helped. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, but 99% of the time, it's moisture in the bowl and your chemistry and a combination thereof that's causing the tongue bite. If you agree or disagree, leave a comment. So, uh, it's a beautiful day today. 
what am I doing? I'm heading out. I'm going to lunch with some U.S. Airways airline employees that I work with, meeting them for lunch. Uh, tonight, two grandson baseball games simultaneously. Same time, same place. Two fields. Me and my son will sit in the middle and which be like it'll be like a tennis match. Watch this kid, watch that kid, watch this kid, watch that kid, watch this kid. <laughs> Saturday, uh, Saturday, me and said son and his three boys are going to Canton, Ohio, to the NFL Football Hall of Fame. Uh, they love football. I could take it or leave it. I liked it better in the 70s when the football players were paid pittance and most of them had two jobs and I think they played better because of it and it was just a better game. The rules were not changed like they are now. I think the character of the players was way better than the new NFL players now. And that's enough of that subject. But I'm going to see the old players from the 70s in the museum, Dan Marino, Terry Bradshaw, Mike Lambert, the steel curtain from the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 70s. Uh, many, many others, uh, as I said, Dan Marino and so on and so forth. When these men uh, had character and uh, just a different day and age for football. Anyway, beautiful day. It could be warmer. It could be warmer. Let's, it's almost June. It's like 57 degrees out here, so it could be warmer. All right, have a good day. We'll see you. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, disagree, you know, tell me to drop dead. Go for it. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye. Thank you.